Hello guys and welcome to Lucky's Place. Now we're still doing the sea temp challenge and we're doing the prompt number 27 and 28. Plant life and a moment in time. So I actually thought this a lot about it because it was the, the two prompts that I liked most in this challenge and um, I was thinking about um, drawing different stages of a uh, marine plant and then I looked uh, on the bookcase and I saw Codex Serafinianus. Now if you don't know what it is, uh, it is a book, it is a book um, um, I don't know it is, uh, if it's written. Well, it is illustrated, okay? It is illustrated by um, an Italian artist, Luigi Serafini. And um, uh, he is uh, very particular because his book uh, looks like, uh, we can say, a Victorian book, a Victorian study of, uh, um, I don't know, something alien, written in a known language and it is really um, beautiful, it is really inspiring and I thought maybe I can do something like that. So here I put some plants that um, exist in real life and some that not really, some of the plants that just plopped into my head. Maybe they exist, but I don't. I still don't know them. I don't know. So I put um, two, one little and one big flower that you may have sewn in the SpongeBob cartoon. And uh, also I put some seaweed. I put um, a kind of shell from from which um, there, there's a plant inside and it comes out in those beautiful uh, ruffles. And also the, the plant that I like the most is the central down one. Uh, it is really beautiful, it is purplish kind of thing and I like it. It looks like a whole bouquet. Um, and those um, all the plants, all, all the seaweed, um, some those are uh, in the center look like mushrooms for me at least, and I really like it. And um, I wanted to write down the description, and I wanted to draw um, to write it down like <laughs> and. Uh, an old man would, uh, and an, a Victorian man would, so I brought my, um, my still graphic um, pen, we can say, and I just uh, wrote down what I thought, <laughs> and I thought nothing, so I invented a language right away. Um, by the way, the, um, the background is... Uh, really pale it is not the ocean it kind of reminds the ocean but i wanted it to be white in order to see well the the writings and um, um uh, actually the kit comes with three inks uh, one black one red and one um, yellow and i mixed yellow with red and i obtained this kind of bloodish red and I think I'm gonna use it I think I'm gonna use it in some other illustration I have one in mind because I want to do the um, drought hobo challenge and there is some things that I have in mind but I won't tell um, also uh, the I put uh, used the um, in I, I did the inking later because I thought I wanted some free um, things going on but um, it didn't really impress me as it would usually so I think uh, I, I needed to practice more inking lately so here we have 
my language, my strange language, and it kind of makes with some um, Asian languages, some, uh, um, I don't know, Korean, because we have those harsh lines of the Korean, but also the flowness, and it's all attached to like the Arabic language, I don't know. Tell me in the comments what uh, do you think of this piece, uh, what do you think of the language I created, and um, uh, I highly recommend to you to see uh, that book because it's really inspiring and um, hope you like my video, hope you subscribe, see you later and bye!